All right, traders, welcome to another edition of Stocks Market Updates. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, another edition of Stocks Market Update, meaning we're going to look at a whole bunch of stocks in this video and show you what I see looking at the different stocks. Firstly, we're going to start off with the good old Apple. Good old Apple, good six month view here in the daily chart. You can see it actually what actually happened with Apple. Let me take everything off the screen here. And you can see what actually happened. Let me bring up say three month view so you can see it here. The market actually ran up, ran up and almost, 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 almost closed that gap. But if you can see this, it actually came up to that area of resistance that I had that resistance line. And isn't that funny, it ran right to that resistance line that I had from there yesterday and rejected it and came straight back down. So uh, not a lot of volume there, but lots and lots of movement. One At one time, this this was up about 4%, yeah, four four and a half, close to 4.5%. So why did it spike through, close that gap and come back down? That, that'll definitely be a weak sign. But looking at that right now, if the market does break down from here, then that's a weak sign looking on Apple. So that's Apple there, guys. Uh, yeah, it's looking really, really, really interesting. Um... Let's see, there's some other stocks that, that I was looking at. Um, so there was, uh, there was um, LVNTA. LVNTA, guys, is another one that I really like. Again, guys, this market's been bouncing off the resistance. We're getting a small little rally up through here, basically like a bit of a bear flag. See where the stochastics are right now. So we get like a nice, good movement on the downside. Then this is this this overall bigger picture on this, on this chart, guys, to me, is actually you can see this is the overall, uh, the overall weekly chart. Don't know, but th don't know what that trend line is there doing that for, but this is the overall weekly chart. Um, you can see. Let me just let me just delete that trend line. Um, so we have that. Yeah. So we have that that point through there. That's that point through there. So that where, where you can see the market's had a big run down, a little small few weeks to the high side, and then I think we like to start to see this big movement on the. Uh, on the downside there, so I, I like that, guys. I like to see what's going on through there. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Google. Quick look at uh, Google. What actually happened with Google just recently? You can see recently Google actually had uh, last night actually had a pullback where the whole market was rising, and we're actually getting a bit more of an increase in volume. So I'm not sure what that's about, but you can see by looking at Google, you can see that the last couple of times it had this areas of resistance and resistance through here. You had that point. It did break up, but it broke back down now. And as you can see, the market actually opened up at that resistance and then broke down and closed there. But and also had an increase in volume, so there's a lot, lot, a lot more selling pressure happening into Google. And I was telling you guys yesterday that I'm actually bearish on Google long term, and I do have put options on Google right now because of this overall big bear flag from here. And uh, this is actually a very, very, this is a very weak sign, guys. When you have a look at this and you see, you get these strong buyers. And then these weak sellers on this weekly chart. I don't care whether the market's been stair stepping up or not. You see these big strong sellers and these weak sellers. To me, guys, looking at that, to me, I am very bearish, and I see I see Google doing this. And now we're starting to see the daily chart. We're starting to get some more downward movement when all the other markets, when the market went up, and also what we're seeing is we're seeing that we're starting to get some volume into this as well too. So I am obviously very bearish on that as well too. Let's go through uh, a few other stocks that, that I actually like as well too. Let's go to GILD, another one. GILD, a nice little move to the high side. I am long-term bearish in this one there, guys, but we do have a bit of a, 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 bit, a bit of a gap here to fill, so let's just see whether that's going to run up through there or not. Had a nice up bar with a good volume, so it looks like we got a little bit more, little bit more up, uplift from, from GILD. Um, uh, Amazon, Amazon's another one you guys like to keep an eye on for. You can see what's happening with Amazon. Little run up, little run up, just small. Not, not. There's nothing big. There's no big moves out of this, and I think big moves are likely to start to come to the downside, come close that gap. And as I said before, and I was saying to you guys uh, yesterday, that looking on this weekly chart, guys, I think this next 12 months for Amazon is going to be deadly. 
Um, but short term, we may get another short five ten percent ride to the high side. But long term, I do have put options in this one. I am long term bearish in this one. Let's see what happens in the next six months. They expire next year. The options I got. So let's just see what happens with that uh, overall as well too. So uh, another one here, guys, is uh, Disney. Disney is one that obviously I've been keeping an eye for again and watching you guys. Really, really, really interesting to see what's happening here. Um, you know, it's 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 you can see how this market's had a lot of resistance, a lot of resistance. So uh, we need to start seeing. Oh, I would like to start to see this thing fall down because I do have put options in this one here, and I would like to see this thing come down. But we do have a gap here to be filled as well too. So I wouldn't be too surprised to see this open this, this start to run up and, and come up and close that gap as well too. But that doesn't bother me. Again, guys, I'm not worried about that short term up and down movement. I've I've been in put options with this one for quite some time, so. And it's not just the last couple of days, you know what I mean? So you can see what's actually happening with the market ran up, come back down, and now we're falling through here. So let's squeeze this chart up right up. You can see what's actually happening through there. So over the next six months, guys, this should start to see this sort of action. And that's what I'm looking on for, okay? So I'm not worried about the, oh, this look, 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 it ran up 1% last night, John. You were wrong. I'm like, who cares if it runs runs up? Who cares if it runs up five percent in the next you know in the next week? I don't care. But I guarantee you, looking at Disney at the end of this year, we're going to be below eighty five. That's just what I that's just what I see. So anyway, guys, that's there's a few things there. Let's actually any other stocks that I want to show you. Um, Monster was another one I mentioned yesterday as well. Uh, I I do like Monster. You can see Monster actually had an up bar. But man, it had a big volume spike. So where did that? Where is that on the hourly chart? So 155.25. So 155.25. So it's actually it's actually I'm gonna open up just a little bit. Got a big volume spike yesterday on Monster as well too. Big big run up. So guys, overall again as I said before, I'm actually bearish on Monster, and I actually think we're gonna we're gonna get this we're gonna get this gap closed. We don't know when. It actually could just keep running back up towards these highs. And you can see this major area of resistance up the top here. We have this area of resistance through there. And we have this area of resistance all through there as well too. So we could be holding here and then the market sees and then the market sees down. When the market starts closing below there, that'll be my sign to see with this gap to be closed uh, on that chart as well too. So um, any other stock that I want to share with you guys, just thinking uh, out loud here. Um, you know what, guys? That's it. That's it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little stocks market update. Uh, that's what I see, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.